Did you ever want to find the end of a rainbow? I know I did when I was a kid. Every time I saw a rainbow, I would run after it as fast as I possibly could because I desired to see the gold at the end of the rainbow. I wanted to see the big old black pot with a whole bunch of gold coins in there just overflowing and just like, oh my gosh, that would be the best. And I know most people have heard that leprechauns store their gold at the end of the rainbow and the rainbow just literally moves around the world constantly. And so they're always in search of their gold or they're always trying to find it so they can add more to it. And of course we want it, right? I mean, who doesn't want gold? I mean, come on. But I will tell you it's more associated with St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day is more of a more of a cultural um, and less of a religious holiday, but it's really a great time that we get to have fun and play in the lore and the magic of the leprechauns. We get to play in the lore and the magic of Ireland and all of their lore, their stories, their tales, their traditions, and really enjoy playing in that culture. Now, I know some cities go out of their crazy way of like um, Chicago dyes their river um, green and runs it backwards. I know it sounds really crazy, but it's really cool to watch. Now, if you are looking for your own leprechaun, one of the fun things to do is look for elderly men. Although not all leprechauns are men, there are women, and they are usually dressed up in green. It's kind of like their traditional coloring. I have known several people that have seen them and they're not always wearing green, but that's what we kind of think in our head is that they're always wearing green. Usually they think of them with a long beard and a pipe, but like I said, several of them are female because otherwise you couldn't have no babies and have little baby leprechauns. And one of the fun parts about kind of connecting to leprechaun energy, and I will tell you, if you have never meditated and tried to connect to a leprechaun, you are missing out because they have such fun energy and this lighthearted kind of like chuckles about everything. They just think everything is funny and everybody is funny. And that's kind of the cool part is that we get to connect to their amazing energy on uh, St. Patrick's Day and really connect in. But I will tell you, that's not the best part. It's connecting to them year round. Keeping that fun, lighthearted energy in and around you all the time will make you have an amazing year.